Good afternoon. This is your good afternoon. This is your brother Bob from Berlin, Maryland. It's good to be here again this Saturday, uh, March thirty first, uh, for the OTEC Pros uh, Roundtable with the founders around the world. It's good to see everyone. I see in our platform here today we have my OTEC Pro brothers, uh, my brother Vincent Collins Oliver, and we have uh, a panel of esteemed guests. I see my sister Comfort. Mr. Peter Rogers, Engineer Mike, my brother Serge from Germany, Marcien, and uh, of course, Ramadi. So um, <clears throat> these are some ex exciting times in our amazing journey with Unpassive. Uh, our founder, Mr. Ash, came out at uh, Unpassive 360 on, on, on Thursday, and he just uh, put that burning fire in all of us, our hearts. So today we are not going to um, to um, spotlight anybody. What we're going to do today is we're going to spotlight the breaking news that Mr. Ash gave us. And what is that breaking news? That breaking news of all breaking news. And he told us that uh, this was one of the best times in his life for the past three months. Reason being because he told us that we had safeguard and recovered 100% of all our source codes and our data. That was that was huge. So we said, okay, let's just focus today on that. Let's let's discuss the significance of what he means when he talks about us having a full source code recovery and our data. So today we have in our panel we have the OTEC pros, and we have some other uh, IT. IT guys, like my brother, Engineer Mike, and uh, my brother, Serge. We also had our brother, Ofe. Ofe, he lives in France, but he's actually visiting in, he's in, in, uh, he's in Burkina Faso, he's in Ouagadougou, so he has network problems, so he might not join us. So we we're, were expected to, to hear from him. Uh, and Serge is going to be speaking in French. He will listen to what our brothers, uh, Vincent, and especially, Collins will say, and then he will try to sum, sum it up in French and then give us his own perspective. So we also have Brother Madi in the house. Brother Madi is a closet IT guy. Is he here or he's gone? <laughs> Madi is a closet IT guy. Uh, hopefully he will also, he will also give us his, his perspective. So we're going to begin with our brother, uh, Vincent. You see, Vincent is, uh, is our database expert. He has more than two decades of experience when we come to database management and administration, relationship, relational RDBMS, relational database management systems. So he understands exactly when Mr. Ash says we have we have full data recovery. Vincent is the only one who can break it down to us in the most simple, simple terms so that we all understand what that means, what the significance of that is, and what is the impact as we move forward. So I'm going to send it over to my brother Vincent. Vincent, you have the floor. Well, thank you, Brother Bob. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, all my brothers and sisters in this uh, wonderful panel. And also hello to everyone listening to us across the world. Thank you very much for coming to this uh, great uh, webinar. So today we're talking about data recovery. And then uh, when we come to the switch code, my brother Collins will illustrate about that. So I'll concentrate more in the data area and then Collins will do the switch code. So the data recovery, when uh, Mr. Ash was saying about data recovery, so data recovery, what well, it is exactly, is the process of recalling or recovering the data from any source made storage media. So if you have your data somewhere, this is how we can do that fully. Maybe if we have a data loss, that's how we can do that. And then there's a two key elements in system of uh, data recovery. We have a backup and then recovery. So they are the essential for safeguarding, you know, restoring data when necessary. So when Mr. I say we have recovered all our database 100%, what this means? This means that everything we have in our ecosystem, like all the product, let's say OConnect, every single email, uh, OML, every single product that we have, we have recorded them, everything. Even our website, all the information from the website, the, the, we have the database 
is the back end product that we can see physically. That's where all, all our information are stored. Everything from our name, username, all the product, password, everything is stored in the database. So when you go to the website, the database is sit behind. So when you connect the website, you want any information, the information is retrieved from the database. That's how we get all the information when you are front-end user, like when you are sitting in the front of your computer. So the database behind, so it gives you all the information. So Mr. I said, all our information from uh, uh, on passive, everything is restored. What does it mean that we get everything, even password, your name, username, everything is restored. It's 100% guaranteed that we didn't have any single penny, anything lost. So everything is dead. So we use the power of the backup and the recovery system to get all this information. So all the information are safe in the database. So that means that we store them in a safe place and then the recovery system makes sure that we get everything properly the way we want to get the information. So we should not worry. And then all the funders we should be excited about this great news because when the database is restored 100%, that means all every single information in the, on passive is there and then it's safe for us to retrieve, to do it. Anything Ash, Mr. Ash want to do it, you'll get all those information in the database. So we are safe, we are in safe hands. So we should be excited because all the information is in safe and then it's there. So right now, like uh, we say, that information, we can use it and restore in every way, any system that Mr. Ash want to do it. So the second phase that Mr. Ash is talking about that, we are happy because we got the, all the database is restored. That means every single information we still have it there. So when we go to the second phase or anywhere Mr. Ash want to take us to, all the information, all the primary information, all the product, all this, the, the information of the IT system we hosted for the past six years, everything is there. So we should be excited. Nothing is lost. When you go to OES, we get all the wallet, all the information that we have in our wallet, I know some people were worried about nothing is lost, everything is there. When they say the database is there, restore 100%, that means everything. I'm saying, I mean everything. So everything is there. So we didn't, anything like people are saying, oh no, the, our money, ecosystem, everything, the wallet, all the information, everything stay intact. Nothing has changed, nothing is lost, nothing is removed. So all the information will be there. So this is guaranteed that the information is in a safe hand. This is the meaning of the 100% of the database. That means all the, where all our data, all information, the product, everything concerning non-passive, they are stored, is everything's recovered fully. So we should not worry about that as well. So thank you, Marara. Excellent, thank you so much, Marara. Marara, that was simple enough for us to understand. So it's saying that everything uh, that we had in our database, in our system, all the data, all the information that we put in, as far as Mr. Ash is concerned, we have recovered everything 100%, so we have it. So before I call my brother, uh, 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 Collins, let me also let you guys know that once Collins and Vincent, when they speak about the data and the source code recovery, Oliver and I, we're going to come from a security and compliance perspective to show you so we see how everything you know comes together, what Mr. Ash has done. So as far as my brother Collins is concerned, we all know Collins is inside, he's actually amongst all of us, he's the only one that is inside a shop that is doing exactly what on passive is doing, building applications. You know, so I want to talk about application development. It is the code that is behind the scenes. It is it is a source code, the code that is running behind the scenes that we see what we see. So that is why I want, I want my brother Collins to come now and explain to us what this really means when he says that we have 100% of our source code. What does that really entail and what does it take, uh, Collins? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Brother Bob. Uh, today is a lovely Saturday and normally there's every reason for us to be very, very excited. You know, one of our worries, you know, always we, we discuss this, the old tech pro we always discuss this when we, you know, the system was shut down by whoever did it. I said those who did it will pay dearly. You know, our worries was 
how are we going to recover the the code and the data the database you know all the data that was our worries that if we lost this then it's finished because just imagine like vincent said you go to your wallet say those who have something and then there is no money there there is nothing no figure nothing there is no way they can retrieve it. Say they lost everything. There is no way they can say, oh, Peter Richard has this, Colin has this amount. No way, there is nothing. Even if you bring it, there is no proof because that is data, as Vincent said. Now let's look at the, the source code. What is really a source code? Why is it important? We're talking about source code, which is the fundamental component of a computer program, which is developed by the engineers, like the developers. Let's look at, where on passive, we said on passive will be there for the past six years. And what this developer, this program as engineer, they've been doing, they've been building the software from scratch. You know, we know when they started from Calcutta to Bangalore to now Hyderabad, they have been putting all the effort building these programs. You know, you can call it O-Mail, O-Net, you know, O-Connect, you know, the whole OES. And all of a sudden, we had this blackout, this shutdown. What happened if we lost all of those information, those, those code, you know, the programs, and there is no backup, there was no backup plan. It means for now, there wouldn't be any ONET, no OES, nothing. Means the hard work they've done for the past six years, they have to go and redo it again. Yes, Mr. Ashburn has the template, has all the ideas, but do you, we are saying they have to go back and start to rewrite the code, the programs again. And to write it is not easy because it comes with a lot of stuff, a lot of maybe things will change because the way they write it last time because they've already lost all the baseline. What will happen then? They have to start to write it again from scratch. That is massive. It means all of us founders. What will happen? We have to wait again for the for one, two, three, four. We don't know how long it will take them to to get to where we are today. And that's why when Ash make this statement that we have 100% recovery of the source code and the data, it calls for celebration. It is not about the, you know, the, the infrastructure doesn't matter. Yes, it costs money, but infrastructure doesn't matter if you, you have lost your data and you've lost your code. Because code is the program, the product that we are seeing, that is code. And the data, our information goes to the database. That is also something massive. And these things they have gathered for the past six years. And then in the twinkle of an eye, bam, it disappeared. And then there is no way you can retrieve it. What happened then? What happened? It means we don't have any business. There is no business. But thank God, Mr. I said, we have got it back 100%. It calls for celebration because infrastructure, they can get it again. So my brother Bob, I will leave it there. Maybe. That's the only explanation I can give. Perfect, and that's that that that's the the, the most uh, simple way in which we can put it. The source code is the program that is running that they develop behind the scenes. Then the data now, when the program is up and running, the information that you put in is that data. So we have all, we have everything. So I'm going to call on my brother uh, Sesh. Sesh is joining us from Germany. Sesh is also an IT guy, so we all know, and he has an understanding of what is going on. But I want Serge to speak in French to combine what my both uh, Vincent and Collins have said to just say it in, in French summarily and then give us your own perspective of what you, what you think has, has happened when Mr. Ash says what he said. Thank you, Serge. You are muted, Serge. You are muted, Serge. Ok, okay d'accord. Merci, merci beaucoup. Je disais que je, je, je m'appelle Serge. My name is Serge. I'm from Ivory Coast, but I'm living in Germany. I'm here to for uh, the French speaking uh, people. Ok, donc je suis là pour traduire un peu tout ce que mes frères viennent de dire. Nous sommes dans la technologie de l'information et surtout, et comme vous le savez, euh, après le passage de H. Il y a eu euh, une euphorie maintenant parce que il y a des informations, il y a une très belle information qui a été annoncée par H, qui a été délivrée par H. Et Vincent a parlé de, ce, de cette information et puis mon frère Collins aussi vient de parler de cette information. 
C'est une information très capitale parce que c'est quelque chose de très important, comme euh, Collins vient de le dire. Si nous avons, si euh, cette information n'avait pas été là, euh, ça allait être beaucoup difficile. Pourquoi? Parce que une entreprise, une entreprise de technologie comme euh, On Passive a deux, deux, deux données très très euh, très importantes. Il y a les codes sources les codes sources dont, je vais, dont euh, Collins a parlé tout à l'heure, et puis les données que euh, mon frère Vincent en a parlé. Et lui, il a parlé de la récupération des données. D'abord, je vais commencer par Collins, ce que Collins a dit. Euh, lorsque vous voyez euh, un logiciel comme OConnect, il y a deux choses qu'il faut remarquer. Il y a d'abord l'interface. L'interface, c'est ce que tout le monde voit. Il faut cliquer ici, ou bien voilà les fonctionnalités, tout et tout ça. Ça, c'est ce que tout le monde voit. Mais à l'intérieur, ou bien quelque chose que nous ne voyons pas, ce sont les codes sources. Ce sont les sources, les, les codes. Et les codes, c'est la programmation, en fait. Vous voyez, c'est la programmation, en fait. Et la programmation est très importante. S'il n'y a pas de programmation, on ne peut pas avoir un logiciel. Vous voyez. Et H a dit la dernière fois, la dernière fois qu'il qu 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 était de passage, il a dit que toutes les, 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 voilà, les, les sources... Toutes les codes sources ont été complètement récupérés. Et ça, c'était une très bonne nouvelle. Parce que s'il y, si y a eu la corruption de ces données-là, s'il y a eu aussi euh, les pertes de ces données, alors l'entreprise n'allait pas avoir de, de logiciel. Parce que sans les, sources, les codes sources, on ne peut pas avoir de logiciel. Voilà, le, comme je l'ai dit, l'interface, c'est ce que nous voyons. Mais le, 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 le cœur du logiciel, ce sont les... les, les, les les codes sources. S'il y a des changements à faire, c'est au niveau des codes sources. Donc, la bonne nouvelle est que les, toutes les, 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 voilà, les codes ont été complètement récupérés. Donc, nous n'avons pas à avoir peur. C'est pour cela qu'il y a cette joie euh, sur notre visage. On peut le remarquer la dernière fois sur, au niveau des H et hier aussi de, bah, lors de la réunion. Maintenant, euh, Vincent a parlé de la récupération des données. Les données, c'est quoi, en fait Lorsque un logiciel est en train de, voilà, est en train d'être utilisé, ça génère des données. Les données, ça peut être, euh, voilà, lors de la manipulation ou bien lors de l'utilisation, tout ce qui nous concerne ou bien tout ce que nous avons utilisé les logiciels, ce logiciel-là pour, euh, pour, pour faire, par exemple, nos, les données sur, euh, voilà, je dirais, euh, les informations sur une personne ou bien s'il y a eu une interaction. Les, tout, cette, tout ça, c'est ce qu'on appelle les données. Et les données peuvent être corrompues, peuvent être perdues. Et si ces données sont corrompues ou perdues, alors nous avons une perte très énorme. Et donc, Vincent a expliqué que euh, la récupération de ces données-là, euh, c'est un processus très essentiel, très capital, et que, euh, voilà... Et lorsque H dit que, que nous avons récupéré les, les 100% de ces données, alors ça signifie que aucune, toutes nos informations, les informations des ambassadeurs, je dirais les affiliés, je ne dirais pas les ambassadeurs parce que quand on dit les ambassadeurs, c'est seulement une seule partie, mais les, les informations de tous ceux qui sont connectés à ondes passive ont été complètement récupérées. Et là, il n'y a aucune perte. Voilà, donc pour le moment, c'est ce que je, je peux euh, dire en français sur tout ce que mes frères ont dit. All right. Is there anything you need to tell us in, in English, Vincent, what he said, or we are good to go? Well, uh, Serge, your perspective, and then I will translate. Yeah, yeah, yes, Serge, give, you have your own perspective, and then we can... Voilà. Uh, if, mm -hmm. Voilà, ce que, ce que je peux dire, c'est que euh, euh, au niveau des sources, des, des codes sources, c'est très important parce que bon, j'étais un peu dans la programmation et, et ces sources sont très importantes parce que la plupart du temps, on, on, il y a des modules qu'on voilà, qu qu programme, c'est-à-dire un logiciel est composé de plusieurs parties et toutes ces parties-là doivent, doivent fonctionner ensemble. Et s'il y a une corruption ou bien s'il y a eu... Une, euh, voilà, un module qui, qui est perdu ou bien qui a été effacé, 
Dans ce cas, ça, ça devient très difficile. Le logiciel ne, fonctionne, ne va pas fonctionner correctement comme il se doit. Soit le logiciel ne va même pas fonctionner ou bien ça va fonctionner avec des défaillances. Donc, quand moi, j'ai été vraiment très heureux lorsque H est sorti et qu'il a dit que nous avons récupéré toutes les sources. Parce que malgré que euh, l'avant-dernière la, euh, fois, il, il a dit que voilà, tout se passe bien, tout et tout. Mais moi, personnellement, je pense, j'avais une, une petite inquiétude au niveau des, des, des sources, des codes sources au niveau des logiciels. Parce que je me disais, OK, s'il y a eu tous ces problèmes-là dans l'entreprise, est-ce que l'entreprise serait capable de récupérer toutes ces sources-là Parce que nous ne parlons pas de seulement 30 logiciels ou bien 50 logiciels, mais je suis sûr que nous sommes maintenant dans la soixantaine. Voilà, dans la soixantaine de logiciels. Est-ce que avec tout ce qui s'est passé, est-ce que l'entreprise le, allait pouvoir récupérer ou bien retrouver toutes ces données Parce que si on ne retrouvait pas toutes ces données, toutes ces, co ces codes sources-là, c'est-à-dire que les logiciels n'existeraient plus et, que, et donc les ingénieurs allaient se mettre encore au travail pour réfléchir encore, pour, pour comment on appelle, euh, programmer encore chaque logiciel. Et ça, ça allait mettre du temps, ça allait, ça allait peut-être... Euh, euh, mettre peut-être deux ans, trois ans, parce que c'est un travail de six ans. Ça allait peut-être mettre deux ans à trois ans encore. Donc là, franchement, c'était mon inquiétude. Et ma deuxième inquiétude, c'était aussi au niveau des données, des données dont, dont a parlé Vincent. Je me suis posé la question, oui, nous allons aller en ligne, en, euh, en online, en ligne. Mais est-ce que les données de chaque personne, de chaque individu, de chaque, de chaque affilié, en concernant les commissions, concernant les voilà euh, ceux qui sont dans, dans ceux qui ont des groupes, ceux qui sont dans ces groupes là, est-ce que tout ça allait être récupéré et fonctionner normalement Donc on faisait les, les émissions, bien sûr, on était dans la joie, mais derrière dans ma tête il y avait une, une petite inquiétude. Donc j'ai été vraiment très heureux avant-hier lorsque H est venu et qu'il a dit que tout tout a été récupéré. Donc je me suis dit que voilà. C'était vraiment, euh, vraiment un point essentiel, c'est-à-dire un tournant essentiel. Si on ne, récup on ne faisait pas ces récupérations à 100 ça allait avoir, on allait franchement attendre encore. Mais l'actualisation, la récupération, les codes sources, des, des codes sources et puis des données personnelles, des données de toutes ces, les, des données générées par l'utilisation de ces logiciels a été vraiment efficace. Donc, je suis très heureux et... Et franchement, les ingénieurs ont fait un travail énorme. Merci beaucoup. Merci, merci, mon frère. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, Vincent. OK, yeah, thank you, uh, my, uh, my brother, Serge. So what uh, Serge said, uh, Serge said uh, about the switch code, he said it's very important here for some module because uh, he worked as a developer before, so he know exactly what happened to the code. So if something happened to one of the module or anything lost, will be difficult for the, the software or the application to work properly. So it has two worries. So the first worry was about the source code. So if anything happened to them, we wouldn't be help, able to do that. So it was worried, how can you get all these source codes back properly and all these 60, over 60 application or product we have, everything can work. So this is one of his worry because you want to make sure that we can get this because if anything of the, any part of the code is lost, we will not be able to get that application. So this is one worry of Sage. And then the second worry, it was about the data. So the database itself, because all everything we do, all application, username, even in our wallet, because I know a lot of people thinking about the wallet, all the money, information, the wallet, everything get lost. So everything is there is intact. So that was his uh, second worry. So he's happy. He was really happy the other day when Mr. Ash said that uh, we have recovered the source code and then all the information in the database because that's uh, the two essential for our system. Imagine if we didn't get all this and then all the, these engineers, they have to go back and work on those system for another, they take about six years to get all this information. And then imagine, if we lost everything, we don't know how long it can take them. Like my brother also called and said earlier, we don't know how long we take them to get all this back. So now that everything is back and then properly done, since Mr. Ash said that, uh, my brother says, say, it's not any more worry because 
everything he was worried earlier as an IT engineer, everything is there. So he's happy for this great information. So this is what Serge said. Thank you, Serge. Uh, yes, indeed. Thank you, Serge. Thanks for that contribution. That's true. What if we, we had lost some, some of the data, some of the code? It could take it could take us back two, three years, like he said. That is perfectly true. So, Mr. I said yesterday that um, you know, our side went down, uh, not by any reason, but it looks like it was a deliberate act. It was uh, some people have lost their jobs. Uh, this is very worrisome. It's very worrisome to any company. You know, but when 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 he comes back and tells us that we have recovered everything 100 percent of our code, 100 percent of our data. From a security and compliance perspective, we can see that they have executed an effective disaster recovery, uh, business continuity disaster recovery uh, uh, plan. So I want my brother Oliver to come now and give us, let us look at it now from a broader perspective, how we sit behind the scenes and look at it from a security and compliance perspective. And then I'll come in and add, and then I'll call engineer Mike to come after to add, and then everybody else in the panel can and chime in. So, Brother Oliver, take us, let's let's zoom out and look at it as, well as we see it. Yeah, um, uh, I want to thank colleagues uh, Vincent and Serge for the wonderful um, uh, uh, presentation about our, our data database and the, all our and the source um, uh, code recovery. And uh, this is something that we have to be, how we really have to celebrate because, uh, of, because of the time that, the time that we would have taken for us for the six years back work, as Serge just put it, you know. So um, now we are just taking it now from, from there and run away with it, you know. And um, when it comes to the security part of it, uh, when you hear the CEO also mentioned last time about <clears throat> that uh, there'll be there'll be a lot of changes and a lot of people have, uh, are no longer with us. Therefore, there's something that we're calling security entitlement. Uh, entitlements are things, uh, 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 it's like you give permission to your task, whatever your task is, you, you are entitled only to that particular section of work that you are doing. So, so this is to prevent internal threats in the house. So those those ones are going to take Ash is going to put them in place so that when you are when you, when you have entitlement to work, let's say you are there only to perform. HR job, you do your own task and they'll break the HR department in various, various sections. Then you have that entitlement or permission to do only that particular task that you are doing. So that in case anything happens, they can track whoever is. And there, 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 there'll be a lot of other trainings also within to make within the company to make sure that you, you are sure of what you are doing. And there are also tools within inside our internal system and that is going to track a lot of internal people what they are doing to see that they should not they should not give them those entitlement that, that, that they can do somebody else um, uh, perform somebody else um, uh, task so that is the that that is number one come again when it comes to our general security also we know how our our ceo is so particular about security you know, there'll be nothing, and since we've, we, we've gained our database and we've recovered all the, all the source code 100%, there'll be that transit when data are moving from one position to the other, it, you know, TLS, there'll be, it, will be, it will be secure. We don't say 100% secure, but it's also going to be secure. So we should not panic. Come again, like this is a database person. The, all the data that are there that are going to be stored within our prems is also going to be addressed. It's going to be secured also. So we should not. We are we are fine in that in all that level. Comes again the compliance. It, we all the compliance that all the compliance um, that we went through all through then uh, is going to come since we recover everything one hundred percent. It's going to come within within it. So th these are things that we are supposed to celebrate because this is big. Because that was also my worry. That was also my worry because for us to go start again from scratch, from, from zero, yes, we have everything, but that time, that time that we are going to take to, to build it again, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, then building, then, then as you build, you make sure you secure, you make sure you put the security measures also um, in in intact. In so this, this call for celebration and we should conquer the, our fear 
We should not fear about anything. We should rally behind our, our CEO and make sure that he has that, you know, that when he talked yesterday to us at um, uh, Omino and Ron, you know, you see that he, he like all of us, we have our own personal issues. We have our own personal issues. We, like when he talked yesterday, I, I pity him. He's going through personal family issues. He's going through own passive issues. He, and he's looking at us. So he has something like a wall in front of him, you know, that he has to penetrate. So please, we should really, we should really be happy. And we should also make sure that we give him that courage. You know, there's this song, Courage, Brother, Do Not Stumble. You know, we should give him that courage so that he should be able to like tackle everything with wisdom, with wisdom and carry it along. Again, our security is perfect. He has put things in place. Those who were not supposed to be where they were supposed to be are all out. And now we are coming in the, with a fresh slate and a fresh environment that everything will be fresh. Our security will be good and perfectly like he said that is the, the changes is we are we are going to have positive changes that, that, that are coming. So we should celebrate and we should take it along and we should rally behind him, give him that courage for him to carry it along. Uncle Bob, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother Oliver. Yes, you know, I'll just continue from where Oliver left off. Um, you know, an, an insider threat is every company's now. It can happen to any company, just so we know. It can happen to any company. It's one of every company's nightmare. Remember, Mr. Ash is telling us that it was it's a deliberate attempt to stall us, to to obstruct, and you know they are not only affecting him, they're affecting us. We all, all of us as the founders. You can do everything that is required. You follow the security policies. Let's start from the HR, from your human resource management side. You can have do what what it takes. Do your background checks. Verif verification of uh, 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 credentials and, and uh, 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 you know, criminal background checks. You can do everything, signing of the non disclosure agreement. You can do everything, but you, you don't know what is inside anybody's heart. That's where the problem lies, you know. So but the, the, the deal there is to how you put those safeguards, those safeguards and countermeasures, where in a situation like this, you can respond. And that's what Mr. Ash is doing. That is responding. In terms of the source code, they are going to retrieve, they have retrieved 100 percent of the code. But they have to check. You know, so they have to do what they call uh, the static test and analysis. They have to go to it's millions and mi imagine millions and millions of lines of code. They're going to have to run through it to test static uh, static text and uh, static text analysis. They're going to do that. And dynamic test analysis, which is looking at uh, look running uh, vulnerability scanning throughout the entire system to see if they because these people who did this, they can leave one or two bugs here and there, you see. So from a security perspective, they're going to do both static and dynamic test analysis just to make sure everything is fine. From the data side, like my brother Wilson said, now access control. They have to do what we call, have, call advanced segregation of duties. What Oliver was just saying, you know, you identify, you mitigate, and you resolve conflict. Somebody cannot have too many privileges in the system. No, you know, and then you do your manage auto, management uh, of uh, uh, of access management. You know, now you authorize what they have, the privileges that they have. Uh, I think they have this principle. You know, let me not go technical, but they have to go back. And look at everything. Look at the security controls that are within the database. Moving forward, looking at all the restrictions, the settings, and things like that. So all that, all that is going to be, be taking place as we speak, you know. So, but overall, just having us here, because one of the things that I get my dove my heart to Mr. Ash was since when we had the first instance when we launched last September, the system crashed and it came back up. That, that told me that they had a robust uh, contingency plan and disaster recovery in place. And we see that it has taken time, but this one is, was more severe. So they have they have executed that flawlessly. And now we are back to where we were on June uh, 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 20, 24th or 26th, whatever it is. So now we are going to come and start from, from, from that point without losing one line of code. That 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 calls for, for applause to our founder, 
the steady hand, our our all the employees that are left that are still working at the new pre that are coming with the same vision that we have. So um it's really call, it really calls for celebration. Let's call for uh, our brother engineer Mike. Engineer Mike is also in the industry, very uh intellectually curious guy, I might say. So I would like you to also give us your perspective, what you see in simple terms, what you see, what this means, to you, what's the implication of us having our source code 100% and also our data all intact moving forward. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Uncle Bob. Thank you, my big brothers. We are so, um, we're so excited with the news. Um, what, what thing I want to say, when you say about the source code and all of that, people like, Thank you, my brother, uh, Vincent, and um, colleagues to Uncle Oliver and Uncle Bob for breaking it down for us and our brother, Serge. So we should also remember that our system is automated. So if this, our source code and our scripts are corrupted, then maybe we'll go back to the manual system, right? Which is which is something that we have passed that so many years ago. And Mr. Mufare built our company to be automated. So if we don't have this, this source code and we don't have our scripts to, to, to run them up, it means we're going back to the automation. I just wanted us to, to look at it this way, right? Our brother Vincent really explained the data recovery thing to us. Let's remember that this, our data can be stored in things, uh, devices like the, our US, USB stick, our memory cards, and also the SSD, right, that we have, and also our our servers, right? Now, the, how does this happen? It can just happen when um, there's a deletion, right? Like accidentally deletion of, of, of data, um, hardware failure as well, then software issues. It can also be a physical damage on our storage device, okay? So this is what is, is, is causing the, so that we have to recover the data. Now we have four, uh, four specifically um, uh, process in, in what we, we, all that we will be talking about the data recovery. They have to assess it, right? There should be assessed to determine the extent of the data um, loss that, 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 that we had, right? The second thing they have to do is to um, the, do the data analysis like Uncle Bob is saying, to scan all the storages to see what uh, is recoverable in those devices. That's the data analysis now to scan, right? Then the third one is the recovery, right? To extract and restore any data that can be, can be usable again, right? Anyone that is in a usable state, we can recover the, those ones. Then the fourth aspect is to verify. To verify to ensure that um, the recovered data is intact and usable. Those are the things that is the steps that are uh, involved in the process of data recovery. Then this data recovery can be done. Let me say, if it is less severe, it can just be done by a software. Or if it is uh, more severe, it can be used by a um, specialized service or services like uh, complex in complex cases, which involves physical damage and extensive corruption. So in all of this that we're just saying is the joy that we have in us to know that we are not going to start from scratch. Like Uncle Oliver says, we are not starting from scratch. We have something to build on, as our brother um, uh, colleagues told us, we have something to build on to continue. We should also remember that our CEO told us that in Unpassive, he has a plan A, B, C, D, right? So that if we want to use plan A and there is a shortcoming, we go to plan B and plan C. So we are in a good position. We are in a good shape. We just want to say um, thank you to him for doing all of what he's doing to us. He's a human being like all of us here. We just say thank you, Mr. Mufare, for all your efforts. Uncle Bob, that is what I have to contribute. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. So I'm glad we have a businessman here amongst us, Mr. Peter Rogers. Um, 
uh, let's look at it now from a business perspective. So Peter has his shop. We you know he's uh, he's doing well. He has his shop, and then for some reason there's a disaster, and you have to shut down for some few days. Nothing. You cannot sell. You cannot open your shop. You can't sell any of your items that you have. You think that maybe you have lost some some items. You don't even know everything is there, and then. One day, yeah, you bring in some experts. They tell you, oh, no, Peter, hey, we've looked at it. We've calculated everything. We've been able to recover everything. And here, here it is. From the day that you shot your store to today, we have everything intact. I, I want us, Peter, to look at it from that perspective because this is a real-life example. So you wow. have this now. They come now and they tell you that this is what is happening. How will you feel? What is your reaction to hearing that kind of news? Yeah, you know, it's... Great information that's been given out here today by you guys. Uh, you know, obviously, it's opened my eyes up to realise what what it's all about, really. Uh, obviously, referring to my business, mm -hmm. you know, if um, you know, it's uh, it's like me opening my shop and I've got a shop full of stock, then overnight my stock disappears, it gets taken. Mm -hmm. I open the shop the following day and I've got no stock to sell. Basically, that's really what's happened to our, you know, on passive in a way, you know, their their data got stolen, um, the source codes and all that. Well, I don't know why it got stolen. I mean, obviously, got misplaced. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you know, obviously, with on passive, that's their it's their it's their products. It's their it's their um, their new unique products to them to on passive. If the data gets uh, mislaid or the source code, you they lose the source code got no business it's the same with me or my shop if my if i've got no uh, stock in my shop or i've got bad management um you know it's it's done on my my um my shop you know i have to order on a weekly basis and uh you know and it's thousands and thousands of pounds of stock that i have to order and that's down to me and you know three of my staff to order now you know sometimes we make mistakes but we have to be on top of it all the time and uh if uh if, if there is a mistake done and we, we're short on that stock, basically the shop, the business is losing business over that next week, unless I can get the stock from, source the stock from other, elsewhere. So, you know, every business has has issues, you know, when it comes down to mislaid information and mislaid stock. Um, you know, going back to on passive, I, I really want to, you know, I really want to say about what you guys have just said. It's just to really open my eyes up to, understand about all this information you know on passive we've been involved we've all been involved you know over six years nearly seven uh, just over six years coming up to seven years some of us and you know this has been ash's dream for many years before on passive was thought of and you know all that information just thinking of all that information over the uh, over those six years disappeared just think of that all that work that's been done and, and developed by key people within the business of on passive just disappeared i mean that is going to be one one big damage to the business is no doubt and i'm going to take my hat off to all the um the people that's been working you know with ash and his team getting all this information back getting this data back getting all the source codes back that is absolutely one tremendous achievement to me to get all that information back it is you know I, i'll take my hat off to ash you know he's he's doing this for us he's doing it for the people doing it for the foundership okay and you know he's he's put his his whole life into this and his family has as well you know and um you know i'm excited about what he said on th on thursday you know it was obviously great news but listening to what you guys have said has made it more important than how, how important it is to on passive that we are where we are. And now we've got the information back. We're back to where we were back in June uh, 23rd or wherever it was. You know, once we obviously get going again, we're going to be back where we were. And then mm -hmm. we're going to be moving forward then to the next step. And that is absolutely tremendous news for everybody. You know, you've got to realize how, how, how big this is. It's, you know, we, yeah, we've had a setback for three months, but we are back to where we were and we're moving forward and we are going to have the life. You know, it's just going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to moving forward with it all.
So anyway, that, that's all I want to say. Yep. Thank you very much for letting me uh, say a few words. Okay. Thank you, Peter. So you saw it from the businessman's perspective and then from uh, someone who's been with us for almost six years. Thank you so much, Peter. Mm -hmm. Um, now I'm going to call on my sister Comfort. I know you can, you can put this as layman as possibly can. Okay. So just I uh, just want your reaction. What why you hear that we have recovered everything 100 percent data code. Not even what about just hear that we have recovered everything. What do you feel? What is your immediate reaction? Just uh, simple, simple, and then uh, I'll give it to Marcel as well. Then we'll, we'll do a round round tour to to close it up. Right. I think it's such a, a, a sigh of relief. You know, one thing again, we just know we we're going to get there. But then when we listen to people, like listen to the likes of you who have an idea, uh, I just want to first quickly thank you guys for putting it really simple. Thank you, Serge. That was just excellent because even aunties and uncles understood you every word and how you put it. So simple. That is what is keeping it going. So I was just like, oh, my God. But then not until you listen to this, to this breakdown, you know, you can't get it. That's why we even encourage people come back and get it from other perspectives. So mm -hmm. this is something that, because sometimes uh, my worry was about Ash as the CEO, you know, because everybody worries. Collins is worrying because he made people join after him. They say, oh, you got us join something which is not happening. How many million of people are looking up to Ash? But not until you bring it to perspective to the real thing that we need to know. That's when it, it, it's such an eye opener like Peter Rogers is saying. So everybody is like, what is happening? What just happened? You know, so it's it's just it's just crazy, and we, I think that uh, this is such a milestone, and I believe that as the saying goes, that what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. What I know is how much Ash has learned, how much the staff themselves have learned, the technical team. If you can't hear me, somebody is calling me right now. So how much everybody has learned, even us, everybody, whatever you were sharing with people, everybody is being careful now. The education we're getting here is priceless. And we know I feel even more firm. I feel more proud of myself that I'm in this. And I feel so, so, so proud of Ash, like Peter Rogers says every day. And the question keeps asking, how do they do this? Because when you listen, what would have happened? Who would have been explaining this and who would have accepted, given how uh, you guys broke it down? Like say you would say, if the, this whole thing was lost, they have to start it all afresh. How long, you know? Those who started in 2018, I who started, you know, incubating this dream from years back and saw it happen, and then somebody snatches it off of him, then it, it cannot just happen. All goes back the glory to God because however it happens, thanks be to God, his humility wins the whole prize because he's just like, God, you are in control. And this thing has to go where you want it to go. It's not me. And it's going there. So it's such a relief it's there's so this vindication there's joy there's celebration and so let's just celebrate guys and keep on keeping on let's listen to this let's encourage people to watch this recording this session is quite important thank you guys for everything thank you thank you my sister comfort thank you well said and then we'll move straight to your other sister uh Marcien. um i don't know if you want to speak in french or in english but whichever you want if you want to reach out to the french community but just uh Give us your own perspective too. Just in layman, what you understand, how what the, what is the impact of what Mr. Ash told you, what you heard, that we have recovered everything and we are going to open back as we were on June 24th. Thank you, Uncle Bob. Hello, everyone. And uh, I think I'm going to speak basically in French so that uh, the French community will get it just like I did. And euh, bonjour, bonsoir à tout le monde. Et je suis très ravie d'être ici ce soir parmi les Hot Tech Pro parce que après les avoir écoutés et écouter ce que notre PDG a dit hier, ça me donne encore plus de d'éclaircissement. J'étais très très ravie, très contente, mais je n'avais pas vraiment compris jusqu'à quel niveau ce que notre PDG nous a dit euh, jeudi était aussi euh, et, et utile. Euh, et puis, je vais, je vais parler ça dans la forme d'une maman, parce que je me suis dit, je ne connais pas la technologie, mais au moins, quand vous avez quelqu'un qui part faire la course 
Et puis, chaque jour, il vous dit, je, je veux courir, je m'en vais courir, je veux faire la course, je veux gagner. Qu'est-ce que vous faites? La seule chose que vous pouvez faire, c'est partir, rester en bordure de la route. Et quand cette personne passe, vous acclamez et vous lui donnez de l'eau. Parce que ça se passe tous les temps. Les champions, les courses qu'on fait dans les, dans les courses de championship tous les années, les gens courent, quand ils courent, ils passent, vous les donner de l'eau. Alors, je n'avais pas compris à quelle instance notre PDG était sur la ligne rouge. C'est-à-dire, il voulait à tout prix gagner, mais il y avait des gens qui avaient pris toute l'énergie qu'il avait. Toute l'énergie qu'il avait, parce que le dette et puis tout ce que les, les o -Tech Pro a expliqué, et Serge nous a bien expliqué, c'est tout ce qu'il avait comme énergie. Donc, ils avaient pris toute son énergie. Mais malheureusement pour eux, nous, on était là pour acclamer après lui et lui donner de l'eau à chaque fois qu'il passait dans un chemin. On lui dit, continue, nous sommes avec toi. Continue, nous sommes avec toi. Ça, c'est la force de l'éternel. Et je peux dire, cette force de l'éternel n'a pas dormi. Parce que imaginez vous que ces données ont été perdues. Qui devait un jour croire ce que notre PDG va nous dire après? Beaucoup de gens vont le trouver pour un bluff. Les gens vont dire, il raconte du n'importe quoi. Mais aujourd'hui, quand je l'ai vu parler, il l'a souhaité comme ça et mettre par terre. C'est là où j'ai compris que vraiment, le gars, notre PDG, était assis sur une chaise vraiment chaude. Toute son énergie, on avait récupéré son énergie à lui. Mais malheureusement, pour ces gens-là, comme j'ai dit, ils ont oublié que derrière lui, il y avait des millions de personnes que pendant qu'ils essayaient d'enlever d'un côté les prières, les, 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 les enchantements, tout ce qu'on avait, ça ne faisait que lui donner de l'énergie. Et à la fin de la journée, à la fin de la journée, il a retrouvé toute son énergie et aujourd'hui, il se trouve à la ligne première. Donc, nous avons déjà gagné. Parce que là où on se trouve maintenant, il n'y a plus rien à faire, il n'y a pas de retour. Tout ce qu'on doit faire maintenant, c'est de s'asseoir et boire le reste de l'eau avec lui et ensemble sur une grande table et célébrer. Je crois que c'est ce que je peux dire ce soir. Merci beaucoup. Eh oui, bien sûr, bien sûr, Madame Massienne, bien sûr. Grand merci. Um, so now we're just going to go around, get our one minute or one phrase, sentence or phrase, parting comments. Any words of inspiration or motivation from anyone or any parting words? Uh, we'll start with uh, Vincent. I see you from my left hand, so we'll just go okay. around. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to take opportunity also to thank everyone in this panel for the great job today. So thanks, uh, thank you all for this great job. So to hand, I would say I would like also to thank you, Mr. Ash uh, for putting uh, business continuity for us. When I say for us, I'm talking about on passive. So this is a business opportunity, business continuity. So what this business opportunity is for, the business opportunity uh, continuity is the backup and also disaster recovery system that Mr. Ash put in place. That's why today we were able to recover all the source code and the, the database 100%. So thank him again for thinking about this great uh, information and then greater innovation. Thank you, Mr. Ash. Thank you for all the good, good job. Thank you, my brother. That's it. We told you he's focused, he's steady, and he's prepared. And we, we can see how he's advancing the ball one yard at a time. Over to you, my brother, Serge. Sentence, phrase, anything encouraging before we go today? Oui, personnellement, j'aimerais vraiment remercier Ash parce que il a montré uh, qu'il est un grand homme. Et comme on vient de l'expliquer tous, euh, c'était une situation très, très critique. Soit toutes les données étaient perdues et puis on abandonnait complètement l'entreprise ou bien euh, voilà, on allait recommencer à zéro tout ce travail-là parce qu'il allait durer peut-être cinq à six, six ans encore. Et vous voyez, H n'a jamais dans tout ça, donc c'était vraiment quelque chose de très sérieux, mais H n'a jamais montré un découragement sur son visage. Chaque fois qu'il est sorti, c'était avec le sourire, et voilà, souvent il, il, voilà, il taquinait les autres, tout et tout. Mais en, en, au fond, c'était quelque chose de très grave qui se passait. Donc, sincèrement, il a montré qu'il est un grand homme et je pense que c'est un bel exemple pour nous. Quelle que soit la situation que nous traversons, nous devons avoir confiance et puis être toujours dans la joie, être toujours positif. Merci. Amen. Yep. He's an incredible guy with all, everything else that was going on behind the scenes. He comes forward and he looks at us in the face and encourages us. That's what Serge is saying. 
Uh, my over to my brother Oliver. Yeah, um, uh, I really want to like um, thank our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, that um, uh, uh, with his dreams, he has also secured our dreams. You know, and uh, we should also we should also know that our dreams are the blueprint of our destiny. So I give him a hand of applause. Somebody that is open, courageous, you know, and uh, despite all the knots, despite all the challenges and the difficulties, he still come out and put out the blue, the good face, and smiling with us. But when he told us on Wednesday that that Wednesday was the the most happiest day in his life because we recovered 100% our database and the source code. So we should be jubilating. I don't know about you, about any other person, but we, I, for one, that day was the best day of my life, you know, because things were going on behind the scene. He didn't like really come out to like show kind of a face. He was still courageous to talk to us. He didn't want to discourage us. So our dreams are now, you know, he has secured that dreams for us and now we should take it and run away with it when the time comes. Thank you. Yep, you got him right, my brother. Our dream is alive. Uh, we'll keep our hope alive. Over to you, Mr. Peter Rogers. Something to, for us to part with. <clears throat> We're back. We're ready to go. Lots of things are going to happen in the next 30 days. It could be before. He did say it could be before. A yes, lot sir. of things happening in the next 30 days. I'm excited. Everybody should be excited. You know, it's... I take my hat off to Ash and his team. They've done a lot of work. And Ash has been really cool about it. He hasn't worried us. He's given us inspiration to move on. And, you know, and Ash has had all this on his shoulders, you know, in, in the background. And he's not shared any of it really with us. But, he, you know, he came in on Thursday. He was positive. You could see he was happy. And he said, things are going to happen in the next 30 days. Look forward to the next 30 days. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pete. Engineer Mike, are you ready? But mute yourself. Or meet yourself. Yes, Uncle Bob. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we should just say thank you to our CEO for what he's been doing to us. But again, that question, are we ready? So being ready is like when we go into the next phase of this journey, nobody will be there to babysit you. Nobody, I will not babysit nobody because this is the time that we should make everything right. How do we make things right? Go to those old email addresses. We've been saying this over and over from my brother colleagues. Go check in to see if those alternative email addresses are working. Go and log in because when this, when we are coming back, there will be no turning back. We're going forward and the speed will be so, so fast. So please go and set up everything so that you will not be calling us. Okay. We, we are going on a journey and we are happy to be in that journey. We will not be going back to check on people anymore. Please go and check those alternative ad email addresses to see that they are working. So that when the systems come up, we'll be able to log in and we'll move on, all of us, in the same space, right? Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you, Engineer Mike. Yep. Are we ready? Are we ready? Uh, Sister Marcien. M.O., continue. Yeah. Ah, le seul que j'ai vraiment, que je peux dire ce soir, c'est que... Um, Nous devions continuer avec l'allure de notre PDG. Déjà que nous le remercions pour tout ce qu'il a enduré pour nous, parce qu'il fait ça pour nous. Si ce n'était que pour lui et sa famille, il ne serait pas en train de se déranger. Il a, il a assez pour lui et sa famille. Donc nous le remercions déjà pour tout ce qu'il se donne tous les soirs, tous les nuits. Et aussi, euh, hier, il nous a dit qu'il a perdu son neveu, donc nous lui souhaitons nos condoléances les plus attristées. C'est autant de choses que lui aussi, il va dans sa famille comme nous tous, mais il prend le temps pour nous, pas pour lui-même. Donc euh, vraiment, soyons conscients et sachons que on passive est ici pour rester et on passive, c'est notre avenir. Donc rappelez-vous chaque fois 
que vous allez à un webinaire où chaque fois que vous parlez de en passif, rappelez-vous le pourquoi vous êtes en passif, le pourquoi vous êtes arrivé le premier jour, le pourquoi vous suivez M. H. Boufara. Merci beaucoup et bonne soirée à tous. Grand merci, grand merci, ma sœur, ma sienne. And I will go to the man from heaven, Mr. Collins Manor. Thank you, thank you, um, Bob. I just want to thank everyone here. You know, what I will just want to conclude is just this show is let's remember that the world is going digital. And the world is going fast. No matter what we say, no matter what people think about on passive, the world is going fast. The time is coming where we will not be thinking about manual stuff like the way engineer might say. So why is source code and database so important? Some people will say, oh, is it on person who is making this story? Every company, IT company on this planet Earth has source code. Their, their, their backbone is their source code and their data. They go hand in hand. No source code, no business. No database, no business. You just have an empty house with name, but there is nothing like it. You just have an empty rented house, no product to sell. So our source code is our product. That's it. In a layman way, our source code is our product. And the product must have data, information, it, because the source code is a human readable system where human beings interact with it. And what are they putting in? They are feeding information, and that information is going to database. Every function must have a database call. Whether we like it or not, those who said, ah, on passive is making it up. If I snatch it out of you, you have empty house. There is just nothing. If we inject something in the database, destroy it, corrupt it, there is no information. And do you know what will happen? The world will go bonkers. Let's remember what happened just a short while ago, two months or three months, when there was this crisis, the biggest internet shakeup. Plane couldn't fly. Things were happening. The hospital was shut down, and all of this, they were like controlling a lot of stuff all over the globe. That's just to tell us that these people are humans. Security, security. My brother, they talk about security. On passive has secured 100% of the gold. Our gold or our diamond is our source code and our database. It's not the house in Hyderabad. It is not the, the Bosch Khalifa. Nothing. It is the source code and the data. And when we secure it, you can even take it even to graveyard. You will still have a business. You can take it even to a mud house in Africa. You have a business. You can use it there and control the whole world. Let us remember that this is our diamond. And I'm so excited that that diamond is back where I can log in and I can see all what my information and everything is there intact. Like Shell said, if you delete one side, delete comfort. Comfort will go in. Where is my, my disk? There is nothing. Nobody will even realize. Ash cannot confirm because there is nothing, no retrieving. But thank God that everything is there and it's intact. And our, I will say our diamond is back. Take the house out. We can still operate from everywhere. So I'll thank you, my brother. Thank you, um, all those who will be here with us. Well said. Well said, Collins. Thank you so much. And we go to the main lady, Sister Comfort. Final parting words, please. Thank you, bro. Thanks so much. So I just appreciate you once again, dear brothers, and all the things that you are doing. Thank you, Peter Rogers, for adding your perspectives because sometimes if we don't understand the old tech pro, when you bring it from that angle, somebody picks at least something to take home. So guys, whoever is watching this video, this is information for free. This is so much knowledge. Make sure you share and encourage people to listen. You don't need to understand all of these things they are saying. You just need to know that this is the magnitude of what we were at the point of losing and we have it back. You just need to understand that that is what we have been waiting for. That is what made us to tarry one way. This is what has been causing the twists. So that's all you need to know. Don't go and find out what source code is. Don't even go and look for it. Go, you see the teacher. I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want to know how much I've got from here is enough. But then now I know I'm sweating because I'm like, God, this is how bad it was, you know? So when Ash comes and just gives it to us on a straight face, just sitting like me here and say, you think that it's just like this, but it's not like that until you listen to these guys. Let's share this information, encourage people to watch, come back tomorrow for the Heroes webinar at 
2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's continue this because it's not business as usual. Level don't change. We are now at a different level. Thank you, guys. Love you all so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Amen. Amen, my sister Comfort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the plug-in to Heroes Tomorrow. I think most of us here on this, we are also at the Heroes Tomorrow, so we'll talk some more. So for me, um, it's been a very exciting week. Listening to Mr. Ash, how relaxed he was, how happy he seemed, and then uttering those words, having recovered everything, our source code and our data, like my brothers have already well eloquently put. He says that we we'll have that. Once we come on in the next few days, or more 30 days, max or less, then we are moving to the next phase. So when we come back up, to me, I think we can now rightfully say this is the beginning of the greater shapes of our lives, as Mr. Ash have said. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for tuning in. We'll see you again in two weeks. That is the OTEC Pros, Roundtables, OTEC Pros, and the founders around the world. Thank you so much. God bless. Good job, guys. Thank you. It's still streaming. Uh, we can't stop it. So, what? Collins. Collins. Oh. Okay, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Comfort, I like your last. That... Comfort, I like your last sentence. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Moment, no, moment, moment. Like... We're still, we're still live. What That's... was my last? No, 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 we're not. Custom no, yeah. live That's streaming nice. service. No, it stopped. It stopped. Stop. Stop. What we was my last? Live. Oh, level, don't, level, yeah, level, 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 level don't change. Level don't change. Level don't change. <laughs> level don't change. Level don't change. <laughs> yes. My way, level, level. Let me check. Oh, let me check. We don't have different level now. Yeah. Now the woman on the talk talk demo. Level don't change. No two ever talk me. Money's just said we're still live. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're showing. It's showing our life. Yeah. No. I think we do. Okay, no, it, 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 to it do is, that. Yeah, if it is like, green, so, well, if it is green, something. it means we are live. It's oh, live. Let me see. Moment, moment. I think I'll stop it. it. Yeah, it should so, be so green. No, you said stop. Are you on a golden stop? Hey.